WGN Investigates has learned a suburban politician's charity has attracted the attention of the Illinois Attorney General after failing to file financial documents. We've reported on Tiffany Henyard. She holds two elected positions, Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor. She's used those positions to steer money to her own cancer charity. But how that money is being used is anyone's guess. I want people to know that I'm caring. Tiffany Henyard told me in November she cares. Apparently so much so, it's also the name of her charity. Check it out. The Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation posts videos highlighting walks and other events that prominently feature the politician proudly promoting her cancer charity. I just want people to know that, hey, Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation is here. We will help anybody in need. She certainly may help some, but Henyard's charity has failed to file required financial statements showing income and expenses. WGN Investigates obtained this letter from December in which the Illinois Attorney General threatened civil penalties are imposed against persons who do not register with this office as required. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking and moving like we doing right things. Right. Henyard mixes her two taxpayer-funded jobs and charity work. That's Keith Freeman sitting next to her at a Dalton meeting where he's the village administrator. Freeman is also an advisor to Thornton Township, and he's the guy listed as the registered agent of Tiffany Henyard's foundation. I think it's just about personal gain and trying to um, use it as more of a publicity type thing. Chris Gonzalez is the last surviving critic of Henyard on the Thornton Township Board. He and other critics say public money has been used to fund Henyard's private charity. They say board members were asked to approve a $10,000 payment to the foundation in 2022, days before a much publicized cancer walk from Dalton to Springfield. Thornton Township credit card records show taxpayers then footed the bill for more than $10,000 in hotel rooms along the route. I saw the video, um, township vehicles being used, township employees being used. Once again, were they paid? Were they given comp time or things of that nature? Um, so there's just, I mean, unfortunately, there's a long list, hotel use, um, meals. But I should have to sit up here and break all this down. Henyard sometimes shouts down or shuts down questions about expenses while presiding over public meetings, as we learned in November. That's when we reported Thornton Township taxpayers spent thousands of dollars on a trip to Las Vegas, where a shopping center conference was underway. Henyard and her allies spent thousands on everything from steak dinners to hotels and what appeared to be first-class airfare. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Actually, yeah, we have a lot more questions, but neither Tiffany Henyard nor her advisor, Keith Freeman, responded to our request for comment. And the two governments they control, they have stopped releasing their financial records requested by us under the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, we'll see. The Illinois Attorney General plans to make another demand for information about Henyard's charity this week. All right, so those financial records that we're hoping to get, what would they reveal? What types of things? Everything about the charity, <laughs> from whether or not Tiffany Henyard and her aid are paid as part of it, to where, how much money they've taken in, but more importantly, what they're spending money on. Henyard has claimed that you know, it goes to helping people with chemotherapy and wigs and housing, but we don't know whether any of that's true because mm -hmm. they haven't filed these required financial forms, which are meant to make sure charitable organizations are doing what they say they're doing. All right, so we'll see what happens next. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Ben. All righty. Well, up next, why nurses at the